Well, I for one am dumbfounded. Who knew this? How how could this possibly happen? This is this is crazy. This is insane. I don't believe it. COVID-19, the common cold may give some protection, study suggests. So, natural defences against a common cold could offer some protection against COVID-19 too, research suggests. Now, I'm just quoting, I don't, is this medical misinformation or anything? I have absolutely no idea. I'm just reading an article from the BBC. That's all I'm doing right now. Just reading an article from the BBC. Not spinning a narrative or anything like that, I'm just reading an article. The small-scale study published in the Nature Communications involved 52 individuals who lived with someone who had just caught COVID-19, those who had developed a memory bank of specific immune cells after a cold to help prevent future attacks, appeared less likely to get COVID because... Here's an interesting thing, and I think this this blew my mind. Everybody thinks that your immune system is just white blood cells that go around and like eat all the bad shit. Your immune system is actually made up of about three hundred something different cells, and you get these little cells who are like the commanders. And the way these little commander cells work is every single disease, virus, bug, or like bacteria, or anything that you've had that your body managed to fight off, it stores essentially the Roman tactics in itself. It's like a cell that works as like a little SD card. So see if the same virus comes back into the body. This little like commander cell remembers it and remembers how they beat it. And then it commands the other white blood cells. Here are the enemy, everyone in phalanx formation because th this virus doesn't do well against that. And everyone attack. It literally stores all the information of every virus that you've ever like beaten. And that's why those wee cells are really, really important. And one of the things that, see how they say measles when you get it as a kid, it's not so bad. But when you get measles as an adult, it's extremely dangerous. The reason for that is when you get measles as an adult, those little commander cells, it wipes their memory. Measles wipes the commander cells memory so they forget to fight shit tons of different bugs and viruses. So basically, if after you're severely immunocompromised if you get measles as an adult. So there you are, the more you know. Uh, those who are, again, the memory bank, that's those little cells. Uh, experts say that no one should rely on this defence alone and vaccines remain key, because, you know, of course they would say that. But they believe their findings could provide useful insight into how a body's defence system fights the virus. COVID-19 is caused by a type of coronavirus and some colds are caused by other coronaviruses. So scientists have wondered whether immunity against one might help with the other. And it's, yeah... Sort of yes, but no, like in a certain way. Like the the viruses and bacteria still have to be pretty similar to each other, you know, in the terms of the way the cell shape, the way the cell works, the way the cell, the way that invades, like all that other type of stuff. So, yes, uh, yes, that could be the case to an extent. Uh, COVID, uh, I've just bloody read that. Uh, but the experts uh, cautioned that it would be a grave mistake to think that anyone who had recently caught a cold was automatically protected against COVID-19 as not all are caused by coronaviruses. And that is, that, that's true. So basically, if you've had coronavirus already, I've already had it, I had it back in September, um, that means that you are pretty much good against that uh, type of coronavirus, I, I, I believe for around six months. However, apparently, if you get exposed to it again in those six months, your body can fight it off again, and then you can like carry on like fine. It's basically like topping up that little memory bank so that the knowledge of how to fight it like stays fresh. However, the cold, where okay, although it's a little bit similar and it might give them some tactics, you know, it's not exactly it's not exactly handing them Sun Tzu's The Art of War. So, yeah, so I, I get what they're saying there. But the Imperial College and London team wanted to understand better why some people uh, catch COVID after being exposed to the virus and others do not. Yeah, one, one thing I was terrified about when I had COVID, I immediately sealed myself away in my study. I sealed myself away in my study, didn't go near my wife, didn't go near uh, the baby, and neither of them caught it. Neither of them caught it. So maybe they were exposed to it because there, there was a day where I didn't know. Maybe they were exposed to it. Maybe they weren't. But, like, again, I've absolutely no idea. Tested all the way through it, though, and I, I I, eventually got over it. But while they were testing, they never... It's really shite having to do a COVID test to a baby. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not fun. 
some of these, uh, they focus their study on a crucial part of the body's immune system, T cells. Some of these T cells kill any cells infected by a specific threat, for example, a cold virus. And once the cold is gone, some T cells remain in the body as a memory bank ready to mount a defense when they next encounter the virus. In September 2020, researchers studied 52 people who had not yet been vaccinated, but who lived with people who had just tested positive for COVID-19. Half the group went on to get COVID during the 28-day study period, and half did not. A third of the people who did not catch COVID were found to have high levels of specific memory T cells in their blood. Though uh, these were likely to have been created when the virus had been infected with another closely related human coronavirus, most frequently a common cold, they say. Researchers accept other variables, such as ventilation and how infectious their household contact was, would have an impact on whether the people caught the virus too, because you don't uh, you don't know, because sometimes you get people who are just bogging and don't tidy the house, and then sometimes you would get people that would do the right thing and not interact with everybody else in the house, and they would seal themselves away. And then obviously disinfect the room. That's what I did as well. I disinfected my whole room once I got over it. And then I had a very, very, very long hot shower. Uh, Dr. Simon Clark at the University of Reading says that although this was a relatively small study, it added to the understanding of how our immune system fights the virus and could help with future vaccines. He added, uh, these data should not be overinterpreted, but it seems unlikely that everyone who has died or had had a more serious infection has never had a cold caused by a coronavirus. And it could be a grave mistake to think that anyone who has recently had a cold is protected against COVID-19, as coronaviruses only account for 10 to 15% of colds. Uh, one, one thing that I had as well, by the way, and this was about a month ago, is I caught either this was a sort of semi-mild flu, or it was an extremely bad cold, but it was it wasn't the Rona because I tested myself a bunch through it. But oh god, I felt like shit. And then my wife caught it, and then the baby caught it, and everything. And we were all just feeling absolutely garbage for days. So maybe maybe that was one because uh, during the coronavirus, I barely felt anything. There was a couple of periods where I felt like I had to lie down, but that was it. But whatever whatever the hell this was that I caught last month, Jesus Christ, they should shut the country down for that. That was horrible, but. Again, but they get again. Whenever you get a virus and your body fights it, that's a nice that's a nice little top up for the memory bank. Uh, he added that learning from what the body does could help inform the design of new vaccines. Current vaccines specifically target spike pro proteins that sit on the outside of the virus, but those spike proteins can change with new variants. But the body's T cells target in internal virus proteins, which do not change as much from variant to variant, meaning vaccines harnessing the work of T cells more closely could provide broader, longer lasting protection against COVID, he says. And basically, Obviously, if they want to contribute to an even better back vaccine, then that'd be great because I'm pretty sure that that's how vaccines have been uh, made so far, you know, before all the mRNA stuff. Now, again, now, I did sort of like, if, if you've got a cold that is a type of coronavirus, then yeah, it's obvious that you would have then some protection against other types of coronaviruses. Uh, however, the fact is, is anybody, is anybody noticing, right, this and this this is the thing that I'm finding really weird. Is anyone else noticing the narrative starting to shift a little bit? Are you noticing that like paper newspapers and like government people and all that, like in some places are going, Yeah, we won't really do lockdowns and yeah, okay, we'll calm it with the vaccine mandates a little bit. And yeah, here's some genuine figures about how many people are actually in hospital if we call Are you noticing this? I'm noticing this. I think I think even them at the top are starting to get fucking sick of this. It's just it's strange. It's just something I've noticed because basically, like eight six months ago or like eight months ago, you would never you would never ever have seen an article like this. You would never ever have seen this. I don't know. It's just something that I'm noticing. 